this is Lisa and this is my channel Stop Drop and Knit and today we are going to unbox the April 2021 Paradise Fibers Fiber of the Month Club. I am so excited. This just came a little while ago to my house and I changed my clothes because you guys all know how I like to match my Paradise Fibers package. Look at this cuteness you guys. I think that there might be a bunny rabbit in here. I am so excited to see if there's bunny rabbit in here. I'm so excited. What do you guys think? I don't know, there's flowers. It just, look at all those bunnies. I just can't wait anymore. I'm just, I'm gonna dig right in. I've got some scissors and, oh my goodness. Yeah, so I am wearing my Tecumseh sweater today so that I could match my package. Just do a quick little outfit change there. My hair is doing something weird, but you guys don't care about that. We wanna open this up. I hope you guys all had a nice Easter if you celebrate. Yesterday was Easter here. Okay, what am I gonna pull out first? I have a card. What does it say? Ooh, sweet speckles. I'm really excited for this. Okay. It's BFL, all right. Blue-faced luster is a British long wool that has subtle luster similar to that of mohair. Originally hailing from the Tyne and Ware Valleys and the hills of East Cumbria, the breed was developed in the 1700s by Robert Bakewell by crossing Lincoln long wool with Dishley luster. The resulting breed was commonly known as the Hexham Lester due to its early concentration in the north of England. It wasn't until 1963 that the BFL we know and love today came about through selective breeding to maintain the purity of the sheep. This fine long wool is dense with beautiful luster and is well suited for spinning due to its long staple length of three to six inches. These curly haired and hardy sheep have one of the softest fleeces in the United Kingdom at an average of 26 microns. This lovely wool is perfect for hand spinning, felting, and many other craft uses. We've blended a natural white and brown BFL with wild Tessa silk in order to create the lofty, strong, and lustrous blend we've named Downy Downpour. More of this fiber is available by special order for Fiber Club members only until the end of the month, after which it will be live on our website for all. So, I am so excited. All right, so that was what's on the back. I can open this too, I'm gonna open. Oh, that was two different sheets. They were stuck together, okay. Oh, well, this is going to be interesting. Okay, let's see. In your bag, Downy Downpour Blend. Introducing the newest blend to make its way to our cloud-inspired collection of undyed blends. So it's undyed, okay. A match that delicately displays a subtle luster with superior staple length and lightweight woolly texture this lofty and lightweight combed top consists of 85% mixed natural shades of blue-faced luster wool and 15% wild Tessa silk top. We named this naturally cloudy gray blend Downy Downpour because it is reminiscent of a rainy spring day in the form of soft fluff. You'll love how effortlessly it spins and dies. Okay, so I already know what else is in this bag, but let's pour, let's uh, pull out this fiber and see what we have got. So yeah, April showers bring May flowers, right? So it is in this purple bag. Oh, this is so soft. So look at, I'm not gonna pull it out all the way, but look at this this is so soft so there's not a bunny in here 
I don't think there's anything about bunnies. I think it was just the package. But it is as soft as a bunny, that's for sure. This is really, oh my gosh, I wish that you guys had like touched television because it is so soft. Look how beautiful that is. Yeah, so it's, it doesn't really look like a gray. To me, it almost looks like a little bit of a tan, like a tannish beige, maybe. But it's really luscious and really beautiful. So, okay. Let's see what else is in the bag. All right. So, in your bag, we have Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid dye. All right, so the Bunny Notions bag. Indulge in a festive variety of sweet offerings this month and try your hand at speckle dyeing fiber and yarn with Kool-Aid. See the other card for tutorial. Yeah, so this card that was stuck together with this one has a tutorial on it for dyeing with Kool-Aid. And so my son and I have actually, we have a video, I will link it below, we snow dyed yarn with Kool-Aid and snow. And that was really fun. And it actually turned out so beautifully, like you never would have guessed that that yarn was dyed with Kool-Aid. So this is something that he and I could do again, which sounds really fun. Um, okay, in your bag, you'll find two random colors of Kool-Aid to dye with a sweet candy stitch marker progress keeper, um, a sunny orange ginger stash tea, also known as liquid sunshine, a fluffy faux fur rainbow pom-pom, and so that's the bunny, I guess, is that is the pom-pom that's in there, <laughs> like a bunny tail. Um, I lost my place, okay. And an iconic marshmallow holiday version of Eunice as yellow sheep peep. All right, so I'm super excited to actually dig that all out of here. Okay, so, oh, look at this little bunny bag. <laughs> this is so cute. So just like the, the top of the bag is the bunny ears. So there was a bunny in this bag. I just, I thought maybe it might be like some Angora or something in Gora Fiber. No, that's okay. Um, this is really cute. All right, so let's see what colors of Kool-Aid I got. Okay, so we got pink lemonade and orange Kool-Aid. So now I have to hide these from my son because he will insist that I just make him Kool-Aid to drink. And of course, Last time when we did the Kool-Aid dyeing video, I did make him some Kool-Aid to drink. But you cannot always find these flavors at every store. So I might have to go pick up some other Kool-Aid to make him Kool-Aid while we do this or just do it without him. We'll see. All right, and then we have the stash tea. So we've got Kool-Aid dash tea and then save the pom-pom for last oh look at Eunice so cute my son was just eating a bunny peep and all right here's my bunny let's see oh this is so cute this is so cute this is a really big pom-pom I don't know how I would attach this to something is there a, oh, here we go. There is a tie. All right, so we put these back in the bag. All right, so we've got Kool-Aid, stash tea, sticker, going back in the bag, because everything's just gonna blow away. And then we'll get this pom-pom. All right, so this pom-pom has a little, uh, a little loop. I love this. This is going to look so cute on a future hat oh my goodness see there's a little bit it, so it's like a white pom-pom but there's like a little bit of almost every color of the rainbow i don't see any like pink but there's like a tiny bit of purple down there look at how soft and fluffy that looks so that would sit on the bottom of the hat and then this is going to be really fun this is right up my alley to use 
So super excited about this. Got to make sure my son doesn't steal that too. So that's going to be really fun. Let's have a look at this um, Kool-Aid dyeing tutorial. So yeah, this is really great. They're going to, I guess, tell you how to do it by speckling. Um, yeah, so it's all the same supplies that I used in my other video. So you use Kool-Aid, you can use some gloves and that the gloves are just to keep your hands from getting dye on them because it will take a while to wash off. Vinegar is optional. You just need some little bowls or a plate, water, plastic wrap, microwave, and then they say tools to apply the dye. So for speckling, I guess they recommend, oh cool, like a toothbrush or toothpicks or cotton swabs. So this is how they say to do it. Um, I will actually do another tutorial using this technique at some point on my channel. Um, so you're gonna fill a basin with lukewarm water, add a quarter cup of vinegar per four ounces of fiber, and then you're gonna gently place the fiber in the water until it's thoroughly soaked. You don't wanna agitate the fiber. You're gonna let that soak for 20 minutes and then towel dry the yarn really carefully just by pushing the towel on the fiber. So again, so you don't agitate the fiber. Um, and then you're, you're gonna leave the fiber damp and you're gonna microwave it. And then basically it says that you are going to stick the Kool-Aid, the different colors into different bowls and add just a teaspoon of water to make a little bit of paste. And you're gonna put the fiber on plastic wrap and then you're gonna apply the Kool-Aid to the fiber using whatever tool you want and guess as wherever you want to speckle it. So yeah, Owen and I are gonna have a blast with this. I wonder how it would look. Let me do a close-up. Um, so this is a close-up of the fiber that they created, I guess, with this blend. So it's like a little bit of a, a grayish speckled. So I will definitely be using this technique. I don't know whether I'll wanna do it on this fiber or not. I mean, I've never dyed fiber. I've only actually dyed yarn. So we'll see. Um, how many ounces is there in here? Um, oh, not that card, this one. Well, it doesn't say how many ounces of fiber is in here. So, I mean, it looks like, looks like quite a bit. I would say maybe there's about six ounces. I guess I would have to weigh it, but um, yeah, it might be interesting. It might be interesting to dye this. I just don't know if I want to or not. So we will see, but I will definitely keep you guys posted. Um, I am not sponsored by Paradise Fibers, but I will include a link in the down bar below my video in case you are interested in subscribing to their Fiber of the Month Club. Um, oh, you know what? I think I missed something in here. Yeah, I missed my stitch marker. That's why I was like, wait, there's something. Let's get the stitch marker out. That got hidden. So this is cute, um, that's really cute. It's like a little piece of candy, like a little candy bar or something. Super cute. Um, yeah, so I will, I will include a link in the down bar in case you guys are interested in the Paradise Fibers, Fiber of the Month Club. As I said, I am not an affiliate. I just do these unboxing videos for fun. This was a subscription that my husband gifted me for Christmas this year, and I am having a blast with it. I am currently making an art yarn out of the March box, and it's been a very interesting process. So. Um, if you like this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe so that you can keep track of the projects that I make with the fibers that I receive from the Paradise Fiber of the Month Club. And until next month or my next video, whichever you happen to watch next, have a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon. Bye.